So, you're really not sure what materials are and how they work. Not a problem. On the left side, under the materials section, you'll see the basic materials, and if you're coming from Blender, the easiest way to think about these is the principled shader. Every time you drag a material to your work, if you scroll down and look at its properties, you will find that it's some combination of color, metal, rough, normal, and height. And just in case you're new to 3D, color is the main color of the material. Right now it's goldish yellow, but you could easily change it to red or blue. The higher metal is, the more metal it will look. You can also just click it to turn it off, or hold Alt and left click it to make sure it's the only one on, but if there's any property that you ever want to just turn off, you can just click it and turn it off completely. Roughness is how reflective a material is. The more rough, the less it reflects. The less rough, the clearer the reflections will be. Normals refer to the illusion of depth on a flat surface. The more normal something is, the more it will look like something is popping out of the object. Height maps are also known as displacement maps. They're basically super mega aggressive normal maps. A normal map might look like it's popping out, but when you see it from the side, you will be able to tell that it's just a trick and is really flat. Traditionally, displacement and height maps would be able to actually augment the geometry to give the illusion that it's not really flat. It's not quite how it works in substance, but that's traditionally what the difference is. Honestly, the fastest way to get comfortable with Substance Painter is to just mess around and drag materials you like onto your work, and just check out the properties to see how they were made. For example, the materials for gold and silver have almost the same parameters, the only real difference is the color. But when you compare them to something like plastic, you'll notice that it's very similar to gold and silver, but the main difference is it's not metallic. So yeah, that's basically how materials work, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.